All right, so I've got an Aspen three inch round that I'm using for this project. And this is my first time burning on Aspen. I'm using a Koba detailer with a number two ballpoint tip. And I started out at like five and a half, but that wasn't quite hot enough for my liking. So I turned it up to about a six and a half. And then I stippled in a line. It's not really stippled, I just kind of drew it, but I didn't care too much about making it a perfect line for the tree trunk because it's not really necessary. And then I go over it with other stippled triangles, just basic triangles getting wider as you go down to the bottom. And that gives me a decent looking tree. Now, when you are wood burning, it's important to start with the foreground. It, it just, it works better with painting. It works better to start with the background with wood burning, you start with the foreground. So I burned four trees into the front of my foreground. Then I decided we should probably have a couple of distant trees, uh, obviously not quite in the foreground, but they're going to be in front of the mountains that are coming. Now for the mountains, I wanna use a different tip. Technically, Colwood calls these nibs, so I'm going to need a different nib. So I took off my ballpoint and I put on an S shader. It's one of the flat ones. It's not pre-bent. Um, it's got a little curve to it. I really like this one. And you can turn it on its side for a really sharp line, or you can turn it flat for a really nice shaded area. So what I start with is one side of the mountain and I'm not looking for a perfectly sharp line because I'm not going for the line art look. I'm going for more of a realistic-ish look. And I need to choose my light source. For me, I'm going to have that coming from the center of the ornament. So the side further away from that area is going to get the most shading. And I'm coming down kind of a ridge down the mountain, but you can see I kind of cut up the line. Instead of going down in one straight line, I came down, stopped, and started shading in a different line, and that's to give it more of a natural look, to give it separate ridges, which is obviously important when you are wood-burning mountains. Then I'm going to come into the other side and basically do the same thing with the opposite shading because again, my light source is coming from the center of the ornament. So whatever space is going to be furthest away from that area is going to be shaded. Now down here I noticed I had a little bit of a naked spot and I'm not planning to put any water in it or anything. So I decided to just go ahead, burn some shadows underneath the trees, a little bit behind the trees, just give it a little bit of depth and kind of make it look like the slope is moving. There's some uh, up and down in the landscape. Now I'm planning to paint the sky, so I'll show you that in a different progress video. But for now, my friends, this is how you would burn a mountain. If you found this helpful in any way, it would mean the world to me if you would hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment below to let me know what you would like to see burned next.